Hi, myself Prabhakar Mandala, your master pattern. If you want to learn draping, here it is our first class. If you look at the board, starting from pattern, pattern making and three different pattern making methods. Okay, starting from pattern. So, what is pattern? Pattern is a template or a blueprint of a design, form or object. Now, developing pattern is called pattern making. The process of developing the pattern is called pattern making. So, pattern making can be done with the three different methods. The first one is pattern drafting and the second one flat pattern making and the third one what we are talking about is draping. So, I will talk about these two later, pattern drafting and flat pattern making. Now, our subject is draping. So, we have to learn draping. So, before draping, you have to understand the dress form. You have to understand each and every part of the dress form. So, first, I will start with the front. Okay. So, if you see, there are three lines on the front. The center line and two lines on either side of the center line. After that, the side line. Okay, I will tell you what we call this. Very simple guys, try to understand. This is front and this is center. Okay, so this entire line is called center front line. Okay, and on either side of the center line, these lines, these two lines, are called princess lines okay princess lines or style lines okay two names princess line or style lines i think you are clear about these two and the third one this this is a side seam where front and back will join here the side seam okay if you understand these then it's easy to find out the rest of the points, rest of the parts. So starting from, and we have to find out the levels also. The first level is this, this neck, neckline, and the bust level, waist level, and hip level. There are four levels. So these three, three lines and four levels, if you understand these, you can easily find out all the uh, positions of the dust form. So starting from this, this point, neck and center line intersection point is called center front neck line. Okay, this is center front neck. Center front neck line. And this is center front bust line. Center front waist and center front Hip. Very simple guys. You have to use the word center front and you have to use the finally the level. So center front neck, center front bust, center front waist and center front hip. And starting from here, if you see this, this area in the shoulder, the entire starting from the this part to this, this entire area is shoulder. Or you can see the center point where the princess line starting from okay so shoulder and the princess intersection point is this so you can call it as princess shoulder okay and this is highest point of the shoulder and this is shoulder tip so all these three points belongs to shoulder okay so this you can call it as hsp highest shoulder point this is mid shoulder point or princess shoulder point and this is shoulder tip okay so this point is called bust point you can see two bust points on either side of the center line another name of the bust point is called apex okay the two names for this apex or bust point if you see there is a style tape uh, from one bust point to another bust point and uh, passing to side C. So this level is HBL level. Okay. Horizontal balance line. You will understand it later what is HBL line and what is the use of HBL line. And one HBL line, and here also 
we kept another style tape to balance the grain so you will understand clearly while draping the skirt so why we put this style tape and here also you will understand why we put this style tape uh, to drape a basic bodies this area is arm round arm round and this is called arm plate this is called arm plate and this is arm plate screw and if you see this area this area where the shape is bends and this area is called armhole ridge guys this is very important try to remember this word armhole ridge and now, now when we come to side seam see this is entire side seam so there are three levels here the bust level waist level and the hip level this is called side seam bust very simple since this is side seam side seam bust level and this is side seam waist level and this is side seam hip level very simple guys so front is done now the back if you understand the front and it's very easy to understand the back i told you now this is center back line center line and this is back center back line so these are the back princess lines or you can call it as style lines and if you see here neckline waist and hip okay so this is called center back neck center back neck point this is and if you see here i put a style tape here measuring from 4 inches down on the center back i placed a style tape perpendicular to the center back line and this level is called shoulder blade level okay sbl shoulder blade level and this point is called center back waist and this is center back hip level and you can see here this is like back princess waist back princess waist and this is back princess hip level okay back princess hip level so if you understand all these points then you can easily understand while demonstrating so the words you have to catch so if i uh, tell you like keep the muslin near the center front neck so if you know what is center front neck you can easily understand while draping like while demonstrating also you can easily understand thank you and this is your first class i think hope you understand and thank you for watching your master pattern